An airboat is a flat-bottomed vessel with a huge propeller at the back. All the boat's mechanics are above the waterline, and just a bit of the hull rests below. This makes the airboat the preferred mode of transport through shallow water, particularly marshes and swamps. To steer an airboat, large vertical rudders direct the propeller's airflow. At full speed, an airboat can hit 100 kilometers per hour. The boat's hull is made of aluminum that's about 5 millimeters thick. Workers stiffen the hull's bottom plate with aluminum T-bars positioned 18 centimeters apart. After they clamp the T-bars, a jig descends to hold everything steady as workers weld on the strips. Next, they weld on aluminum sheets to form the sides of the hull. At the front, they push the bottom upward before welding, giving the boat a curved bow. They complete the hull by welding on a sheet across the back to form the transom. To that, they weld a splash plate that prevents water from coming over the edge into the back of the boat. Next, they weld various parts to the front of the boat to reinforce it structurally and to create a covered storage area. Once that's done, they screw a thick sheet of high-resistance polymer to the bottom of the hull. Should the boat scrape against a rock, this layer will shield the hull from damage. Once that's secured, they paint the inside of the boat with a blend of epoxy and paint. This forms a layer of what they call webbing. On the outside of the boat, they apply a coat of primer, followed by two coats of durable marine paint. Meanwhile, others have constructed and painted the boat's above-water structure out of steel or aluminum tubes. The rigging, as this structure is called, supports the mechanics, two fiberglass seats and the instrument panel. They mount a belt-driven reduction unit to the boat's gasoline engine. This unit reduces the propeller speed in conjunction with a pre-assembled set of gears. Without it, the propeller would turn at the same rate as the engine. This would exceed the propeller's operating limits and destroy it. The engine is now ready to take its place at the rear of the rigging. Heavy-duty bolts secure it. Under the engine goes a 190-liter fuel tank. At the very back, an aluminum radiator. Then they bolt the rigging to the hull's T-bars. Next comes a floor panel and a three-passenger bench seat with a storage compartment underneath. The boat's exhaust system consists of stainless steel pipe, which attaches with band clamps to a header coming off the engine. The other end leads to a stainless steel muffler. From that, an exhaust pipe runs out the rear of the boat. Next, they mount the propeller guard, a stainless steel safety cage that surrounds the engine and propeller. The three propeller blades are made of carbon fiber. Aluminum rudders steer the boat by directing the propeller's airflow. Cables or rods connect the rudders to a control stick. Smaller airboats like this one are ideal for hunting and fishing. There are also much larger pleasure models that carry 18 or even more passengers on excursions.